Greetings fellow Insomniacs and welcome to Insomniac Gaming Theater. I am your host, the Crazy Player. Greetings Tenno. I'm going to take a few moments to explain to you the Nightwave, because like most things in Warframe, it's not especially complicated, but the game doesn't really explain it to you at all. Um, so the Night Wave is essentially a kind of battle pass system, except that there is no real money spent in it. Every week you will get a set of tasks that if you do them, you will earn points. So let's start with the beginning. Let's start at the reward track over here. So you see up at the top here, this tells you what the Night Wave, what Night Wave version you're in. But the important numbers are these. This is how many points you have currently. This is how many points you have to get to the next level. And as you can see, each of these tasks has a certain uh, value associated with them. Every time you pass 10,000 points, you will get one of the... You will move up the track until you get to, well, technically rank 30. And then beyond that is an endless track of credits. So what sort of things does the Night Wave ask of you? Well, and this, so we've got, this week we've got, complete a survival mission reaching at least 30 minutes. Complete eight railjack missions. Despite what you may think looking at this, by the way, you don't actually need to have a railjack. You can randomly match into railjack missions with other people run, who already have a railjack. That said, I will say building railjack is not that hard. We'll cover it in another video if we haven't already. And Cor or Corpus Railjack is a little annoying, but Grenier Railjack is actually grossly underrated in terms of its value because you can get a lot of good stuff out of there. I will say, though, it is one of the few bits of content that is easily 10 times easier if you have a second player. Um... Unlock four Dragon Key Vaults on Deimos. We'll cover that in another video. Um, complete five scans for Cephalon Samaras. So you go, you talk to Samaras, he'll give you a target, and he'll and you go and scan them. Which is not as easy as it sounds, but it's not that difficult. Um, we'll cover Cephalon Samaras in another video if we haven't already. Polarize one weapon. It, Companion or Warframe, not in the simulacrum. Basically, that means add a Forma. And if we haven't gone over what Forma is, we will. Complete three spy missions. This is any spy mission. Right? So you can go and do the super easy spy mission on Earth, which is probably what I'm going to do. Complete three exterminate missions. Go do the easiest exterminate mission that you can think of. Or go do the easiest exterminate mission in the Void and get a Void Relic at the same time. Right? And then these are dailies. They, as you can see, they have a much shorter time limit on them. Um, kill 150 enemies with radiation. That's not that hard. Kill 10 enemies with finishers. That's a little bit more difficult when you're playing at my level where you kill the entire map, but whatever. Um, kill 20 enemies while sliding. That's not really that difficult. And then the first thing that it gives you when you get the rewards are... Uh, credits so you go in here and you look at the credit offerings because a lot of people miss the fact that this shop is even here this is where you get the Vaubon parts in case you want to build and level Vaubon. uh spoiler alert he is not very good right now um but he is six thousand mastery so uh, but more importantly, this is where you can get Orokin Reactors and Orokin Catalysts. These double the amount of capacity you get either in weapons or in Warframes. And you will end up using a lot of them as you get higher and higher end. This is where you get Nitane Extract, which is used to build certain, certain uh, Warframes, weapons. It's not used a lot, but it's used often enough that it's important to know this is where you find it. Um, you can buy 10,000 Kuva. Some weapons in Warframe require Kuva. The rest of the time it's used for Riven mods. Uh, I'll have a whole rant on Rivens another time. Uh, suffice it to say, as you can tell by the amount that I have, I don't really like them that much. And then they have uh, alternate helms for a lot of the Warframes. This changes on a fairly regular basis. Um, this is a this is an item that I don't think it's this is evergreen. I think this changes from week to week. Um, 
the what particular helms they have. This is also where you can get certain aura mods. Uh, Steel Charge is a good one because it uh, it's used on a fair number of Warframes and it gives the highest mod capacity boost. Um, this is where you get like the Glaive Blueprint, very important if you're going to do, want to do certain things. And also, you know, Glaive, Jaw Sword, these are uh, these are, I mean, they're mastery fodder, but these are weapons that you can use and upgrade and that you can, you know, work your way through as you're playing the game. So, and this changes on, like, these, these mods, the aura mods, and the, the other items that he has, that Nora has for sale in here, this changes on a weekly basis. So, come back often to check these out. In particular, I needed to get the Ceramic Dammer Dagger Blueprint, which only comes from the credits offerings because of uh, a thing for a thing in Duviri, because I had worked through it ages ago and needed to build it again. And this is where you get it from. So that is a brief tutorial on the Nightwave. Um, and as you can see, it has a bunch of other things in it. It has cosmetics it has slots for weapons it has catalysts it gives you two catalysts right a color palette and as i remember correctly this was a color palette i didn't have and i'm master rank 30. decorations for your ship uh special uh augments for various weapons or warframes forma bundles Uh, there's just, there's a lot of good stuff in, in here. Arcane Trickery, which is a Warframe Arcane. Um, I mean, you can scroll all the way up to the end. Special, uh, cosmetics for your Kubro. Umbral Forma, which when you get to the super high end, this is the thing that you need. Why? Well, if you don't already know, you'll find out. Keep playing through this main storyline. We'll go over some of those quests. So, there's a lot of good stuff in here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some exterminate missions to go do. Thank you for joining us in Insomniac Gaming Theater. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and if you're so inclined, check out the Patreon in the link down below.